Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday haul. It's Friday, January 6th. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you had a, a great New Year's Eve, New Year's Day celebration, if you did anything. Me, this was the first time in, I don't know, since I was a little kid that I did not stay up till midnight. Um, I was just really tired. Both kids were out at their friends and I just went to bed early. So actually it felt great and I don't regret it. So I'll probably do that again next year. So anyway happy new year uh i've been trying to get my house back in order i am in the process of putting my christmas stuff away and i do have some valentine's decorations to get out and i think it's some new things so i'm going to show you that today and some other uh items a lot of home decor a few crafty things so let's get started first i wanted to share with you this lovely card that Erica Scrapdiva29 sent me and I forgot, I forgot to share this last week so sorry about that Erica isn't that pretty oh I just love the pink and the aqua um, nutcrackers they're so cute so thank you so much my friend I love this card so I'll leave that there so we can look at it and all right the first stop on our little haul today is Dollar Tree I went to uh, two different Dollar Trees this week. I was in another part of town today. Today's Thursday, so I got a couple things there. Um, at my regular Dollar Tree, I picked up these heart bead wreaths. Aren't these nice? They have little ones at um, Hobby Lobby, by the way, if you prefer the little size. But I like this big one. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, they're cute unfinished like this, but I think you can paint them and they'd be really cute too. Maybe like add like a... Um, I don't know, a little decoration there and hang it up. So I figured I'd get them while I saw them. So there's those. And also at my regular Dollar Tree, I picked up these heart marshmallows. I don't remember seeing these last year, but they're obviously heart marshmallows and some are white with pink inside and some are pink with white inside. So I like to display uh, cute marshmallows like this in apothecary jars on my hutch or kitchen island. So I'm going to do that. I picked up two of them. I don't know why. I keep getting two of everything. So yeah, two of those. And then I also got, all right, this was at the other Dollar Tree, um, not really close to me. I picked up these contact lens cases for my husband. He wears contacts and not daily. So I thought this was a great deal for $1.25. You get um, five different packs. They have a set that's all blue, which actually he would probably prefer, but I was leaning towards a pastel, so that's what I got. And you know what? I'm sure he really doesn't care. So there's that. And then I found these. I thought these were neat. These are new this year, right? Or at least I've never seen them before. They're jumbo craft hearts and they're styrofoam. If you remember, or if you've been following my channel, last year I took um, eggs like this and covered them with fabric and I showed a tutorial on how to do that. I will link it in the uh, description box if you're interested. But I thought I could do something like that with this. And it would take a lot more fabric, of course, but you could customize it to any, you know, decor or any color, whatever fabric you have. So again, in my two in keeping with my buying two I bought two of these so I'm gonna give it a try I'll let you know how it goes hopefully it goes okay I have a lot of fabric in my stash and for a dollar 25 for these large styrofoam hearts I thought that was worth it as you could see you know it's like bigger than my hand so there are those and I think that's it from Dollar Tree yes all right, let's go on to Target. Let me just move some of these things. Uh, Target Dollar Spot has some new stuff out. I picked up this little duck because obviously it's a strawberry duck, so I had to get him. He will live in my craft room, and I think he's so cute. It was only a dollar too, which was good. A lot of their items that used to be a dollar are like two dollars now or three dollars, so good to see some things are still a dollar. I picked up this um, like tin box and it's like a nice sagey green color. They had a white one too. I think it had like um, like farmhouse kind of stripes on it. So this was $5 and you know, everyone wants to organize in the new year, including me. So I thought this would be a nice addition to my pantry um, to put in bread, of course, or something like that. So I got that. 
And then I also got this at the dollar spot. I thought this box was adorable. I love to decorate with these on my hutch. Just, you know, put them on my hutch and fill them with cute little things. So this one says Cupid's Bed and Breakfast, vacancy inside. It was $5. And they also have a pink one that was cute too, but I just wanted to get one and I like this one a little bit better. So I picked that one up. So really cute, right? All right, let's just move these guys over and we'll move on to Walmart. I went to, again, a couple different Walmarts and I got a few uh, Christmas clearance things. So these were not marked as on sale, but I thought for sure they'd be on sale. They're Pioneer Woman Fat Quarters and they, they were in a bin that said $3.47, but I scanned them on my app in the store and they were 49 cents. So these are, this is the only one I really liked. It's got uh, like gingerbread. Let's see, should I open it? Yeah, let's open this. I actually picked up two of these. And I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but you know, if you collect fabric, it's perfect to build up your stash. Oh, cute. It's got a gingerbread dog on it. It says yum, gingerbread house and trees. So it's so cute and it's a nice aqua color background. So for 49 cents for a fat quarter, that was a great deal. So like I said, I picked up two of those. And also at Walmart in the clearance, I couldn't believe I found one more of these vintage banners. They're $7.98, but it was 75% off. So whatever uh, three quarters of that is off. So if it was $8, so it would be two for $2, right? Uh, so happy to get this. And this is one I did not have. It says joy in the uh, traditional colors. So awesome, right? Very happy to get that. And then I got this. I thought this was so pretty. This is an American Greetings um, Magic Moments Collectible Gifts and Decor with Envelope for Storing. So it like, um, you can construct this like Santa's workshop. I just love it. I thought the colors were so pretty and how nice would this be to mail to a crafty friend because, you know, obviously it's flat before you put it together. And this was, um, it says 10, $10.99, but it was, I'm pretty sure the Walmart price was less than that. I don't know. Actually, that might have been it because it came out to be two something. So maybe that's what it was. So you unfold, pop up, place on a flat surface to display. So I guess there were other ones. This was the only one that was at my, sto my store, but I think it's the cutest anyway, the Santa's Workshop. So yeah, got that. Easy enough to store, right? And then uh, the last thing in the Christmas clearance I got were these gift boxes. And I had been eyeing these when they were full price, but I'm glad I waited. This was, um, this is a pack of three gift boxes here. Let me get the label. And it was $10 so, and 75% off. So it gives you the large, medium, and small gift boxes. So perfect for uh, gift giving, obviously, but you could also use them for decor. Maybe like just put them under your tree. And if you do have gifts in them under the tree, I think they would look really, really nice, um, you know, under there. So saving these for next year, 10 bucks. So it was 250. Can't beat that, right? And then non uh, Christmassy, I picked up some conversation hearts. These are the large ones. I've never bought the large ones before. I usually get the tiny ones, but I thought these would look cute in an apothecary jar too. So got those and those are the flavors oh wintergreen I hate because when I was pregnant with my daughter the only thing I could eat that would make me not nauseous was wintergreen lifesavers and um, now I can't even like smell wintergreen without getting <laughs> nauseous so it kind of turned the other way for me but anyway those are the other flavors that are there I'm getting them well oh, you know the kids will eat them or I'll just look at them I don't really like to eat these anyway so there was that. All right, I'm going to move some of this stuff and we'll move on to Hobby Lobby. So at Hobby Lobby, the Valentine's decor is 40% off. So I picked up this one. I think they had it last year, but I don't think my store ever got it. It was $5.99, so 40% off. There's also a red version that was also super cute, but I just got this one. So I thought this was adorable and this will look nice on my hutch or uh, tiered tray. 
So I got that, and then this I just thought was so cute. It's this cute little like charcuterie board sign, and it was only $4.99 and it's 40% off. So what's that, like three bucks or something? Cupid's Bakery Cupcake Sweets Cookies Established 1814. So I actually got two of those, one for a gift, one for me. And I just love that. I thought that was really, really cute. So this is going to hang up in my kitchen. Uh, I looked at the uh, the Christmas clearance, and as you know, it's 90% off now. And I, I would not go, you know, the day it turned 90% off. I just, I don't like dealing with, uh, you know, people fighting for things like that. So, but then again, when I went, there was nothing left. So, <laughs> but that's okay. I didn't need anything. I figured I'd look at the aisle. But uh, it was wiped out. There was like maybe, I don't know, a couple of things that nobody would want left. And that was it. So uh, if you guys got any of the good bargains, congratulations. I see some hauls that, you know, people are getting really good stuff for 90% off. The craft things at my store, they were gone. Um, yeah, so I don't know. If you, if you are brave enough to, you know, fight those crowds, uh, you probably got some good stuff. But not me. All right, uh, let's go on. My daughter and I went out to, uh, we went shopping yesterday. We went to TJ Maxx. We didn't see anything there. We didn't buy anything. But we went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up this magazine. It's called Primitive Quilts and Projects and this is the winter edition. It comes out, I think it's just four times a year. Um, I don't think I've ever bought this magazine. I've looked at it before. These craft magazines are really pricey. Um, this one's $10, which is on the cheaper side, believe it or not, for craft magazines. Um, if you've looked at them, I'm sure you know. But this one had some really cute projects in it that I will definitely want to make. Like I thought this embroidered pillow was super cute. There's probably a bigger picture. But you know, it gives the patterns and um, you know all the tips and stuff. This table mat I thought was really sweet too. That's the one that's on the cover. So I will make these or, you know, I will try to plan to make them. So anyway, I figured I would get it while they still had the winter edition out. Look, there's some embroidery pieces too. So yeah, I was uh, happy to get this. Glad to have the patterns there. And there are some really cute things. Look at that, like fall and winter. What are these? These must be... Let's see what project that is. Oh boy. Is it this? Oh, it's this one. Yvonne and Bill's Cottage. Oh, that is so cute. That looks like a major project with those triangles and stuff. So I don't know about that, but it's really, really cute. Anyway, that's what I got at Barnes & Noble, just that. And today I went to Marshall's and there's a Marshall's a few towns over from me that I, I rarely go to because it's really out of the way, but I had to stop by my car dealership to drop off something. So it's kind of in that area. I figured why not make it um, more worthwhile than just having to run an errand like that. So I found a few things. I found this um, gingerbread like sweatsuit on clearance and this was normally $30 but it, it was $15 and it comes with the the top and the pants. I think this is a junior size because it looks pretty small for a medium but um, I'm usually a small anyway but in juniors I'm sure I would be a medium so I think this will be fine. So got that. 15 bucks, right? I don't know if I would wear that out or together, but I will definitely wear it home lounging around. And I love the gingerbread guys. I remember during the Christmas season, they also had this in black, which was cute, but um, I got the white. So, And then I got um, a couple of Valentine things. They have a whole bunch of uh, cute tea towels and dish towels out. So I got this set. It's by Cupcakes and Cashmere. The product does not contain cashmere. And it's um, three of these really pretty like terry cloth towels. And so the inside is nice and soft and it looks like, you know, like a tablecloth kind of print with the hearts in it. So I thought this would be nice for my kitchen for this time of year. And it's only $10 for three, which I thought was pretty good for these nice quality um, towels. So I got that. But then my favorite thing, oh, I have to show you this. I got a Valentine gingerbread house and it's kind of big. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And it lights up. 
So it came with the try me thingy. So you press that. Oh, isn't that cute? So this was, um, I think it was $24.99. Let me find the price. Oh, it's on top. Yep, $24.99 by the Love and Cupcakes brand. So um, it says Happy Valentine's Day. It does have candy canes on it, but they're pink. So I guess, you know, we'll just pretend those are Valentine candy canes. But uh, everything else is pink and brown and those cute little ginger people on the front. For, for uh, $25, that's a really good deal for a nice big clay gingerbread house like this. It's even got um, windows in the back. So I'm going to put this on the like um, counter bar above my sink where I usually put my gingerbread village at Christmas time. This way you'll be able to see it from the, from the back and the front. I wonder if it has a timer. Um, it says on and off, but sometimes when it says on, it's actually a timer. I don't know. I'll have to check it out and see. I don't, let's see if it's, no, it doesn't say anything there. It's probably just on and off, but that's okay. Isn't that cute? So that was my favorite find today at Marshall's. So that's it for my haul. Um, let's see, what else do I have to tell you? I ordered from scrapbook.com, I think it was like last Friday or Saturday, and it just shipped like uh, a couple days ago. So I don't know, maybe they had delays because of New Year's and maybe all their like after Christmas sale orders. But anyway, I ordered a few things from there. So that should be coming in uh, Tuesday, I think it said. So I'll have that haul for you next week. Um, I am going to be guest designing for Erica at Scrap Diva Designs again. Thank you so much, Erica. She asked me yesterday, so I'll have um, some uh, a haul and designs coming for that when that gets here. I have still some more KS Craft videos to make for the December release, and that includes That'll be spring and Easter projects. I already did all the Valentine ones in part one of those videos. And besides that, I've been cleaning my craft room. You might notice I put my pink vinyl on my, on my table, which I do like. I think the aqua one looks a little bit better, but I'm gonna keep the pink for a while. Um, I took everything off my desk and cleaned it off and uh, just you know put everything back uh, nice and neat and took some stuff out that I didn't need anymore. So it feels, definitely feels good to organize and to clean this time of year. So that's what's been going on here. Uh, this weekend, I'm gonna recruit the family to help me take the ornaments off the tree so we can put that away. Everyone hates doing that, me included, but it's gotta be done, so yeah. And then I do have to take, uh, take down the outside decorations as well. It's been raining all week, so I haven't had a chance to do that. Anyway, things are busy. Um, I'm sure things are busy for you too. So I'm, I'm really thankful that you took some time out to watch my video. And if you have a little bit more time, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, tell me what you're up to, what you think of this week's haul. And um, I, do, I did have a request to show how to use a tracing wheel in your crafting. So I have to demo that. Um, any other requests for demos, let me know. Maybe I can combine them into one video or something. So that's it, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're doing. And thanks so much for watching and for being part of my channel here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Bye.